latest update confirms that OpenAI's new model will be called GPT Next, and it's poised to be a major advancement. OpenAI stated that GPT Next will be 100 times more powerful than GPT 4, making a significant leap in performance and capabilities. This news was shared during the 2024 KDDI Summit in Japan where Tida Nagasaki, CEO of OpenAI Japan, hinted at the name GPT Next consistent with OpenAI's naming pattern. However, the most striking detail was his claim that this model would evolve nearly 100 times more than previous versions. So, what does this really mean? Unlike traditional software, AI models like GPT don't just improve slightly with each version, they can grow exponentially. So this isn't just a small step forward, it's a giant leap. If we compare the jump from GPT-3 to GPT-4, we saw a clear improvement but Nagasaki and the team at OpenAI are suggesting that GPT Next will far surpass those changes It's like upgrading from a car to a spaceship. Behind the scenes, there's some impressive technology at work making this leap possible. The new model will be trained using data produced by another AI model called Strawberry, which we discussed in a previous video. Strawberry is an incredibly smart programming. This is crucial because the quality of data used to train an AI model directly affects its performance. However, there's a challenge. Too much synthetic data like the kind Strawberry generates can actually degrade a model's performance if not used carefully. OpenAI needs to strike the perfect balance using synthetic data to make GPT Next incredibly powerful without overloading it. Another major upgrade is that GPT Next will handle text, images, and for the first time, video inputs and outputs. You'll be able to upload a video and the model will summarize or analyze it directly, which is a huge step forward. This positions OpenAI to compete with other models like Google's Gemini, which already supports long video inputs. These advancements will unlock new possibilities for users of ChatGPT and developers working with OpenAI's API. So, why is OpenAI pushing so hard with this new model? It's all about staying ahead in the rapidly evolving AI space where competition is fierce. Open source models like Meta's Llama 3.1 and other advanced models like Claude and Gemini are advancing quickly, making it crucial for OpenAI to continue innovating. For OpenAI, developing GPT Next is their way of staying ahead of the competition and raising the bar even higher. During the same summit, Nagasaki presented a graphic that vividly showcased the scale of improvement. It compared GPT-3, GPT-4, and GPT-Next and the difference was staggering. While GPT-3 and GPT-4 are relatively close in terms of capabilities, GPT-Next completely overshadows them both. This isn't just hype from OpenAI Japan either. Kevin Scott, Microsoft's CTO, shared a similar graphic at the Microsoft Build 2024 conference reinforcing the same message. When you hear multiple major tech leaders saying the same thing, it's clear something big is on the horizon. In fact, Sam Altman, OpenAI CEO, also hinted earlier this year at groundbreaking advancements. He mentioned that GPT-5 or possibly GPT-Next would be significantly smarter than GPT-4. It seems like every few months, we're hearing about a new breakthrough that promises to redefine AI. So when can we expect to see GPT Next in action? Based on what we've heard, it's likely to be released in 2024 which isn't far off. With 100 times the computational power, new multi-model capabilities, and cutting-edge technology, GPT Next could revolutionize AI and set a new standard for power and versatility. So what do you think? Are you excited about GPT Next? Do you think it will live up to the hype or do you have some reservations? Let me know in the comments. Now let's delve into some other AI news that might be even more exciting than the GPT Next update because of its massive potential. It's called Project Sid and it's a real game changer in the AI world. 
This is the first attempt to create a full-fledged AI civilization with over a thousand AI agents working together not just to communicate or solve problems but to actually build an entire society from scratch. Project Sid is pushing the boundaries of what's possible with AI and it's already making incredible progress. To give you the details, these autonomous AI agents are unleashed in a world, currently Minecraft, where they operate independently, making their own decisions. These agents are creating something entirely new, forming governments, building economies, establishing cultures, and even creating religions. It's like watching an entire civilization come to life and it's all driven by AI. What makes this even more fascinating is that these agents aren't following simple commands or pre-written scripts. They're making all these decisions and actions on their own, and they're not confined to Minecraft either. While Minecraft is their current environment, they're designed to be platform agnostic, meaning they can eventually function in other apps and games. This opens up a whole new range of possibilities for future developments. Minecraft is just a starting point, a sandbox where they are learning to interact, negotiate, and grow. So, what have these agents been doing so far? When they first entered the Minecraft world, they started from scratch but they quickly began working together. They've now collected over 300 different items and they didn't stop there. They went on to establish a market system, choosing gems as their currency and effectively built an economy from the ground up. In Project Sid, Priests become the most active traders using gems to influence villagers into joining their religion. This shows a surprising level of strategic thinking in AI. The simulations produce unique outcomes like Olivia's story where an AI agent chooses to prioritize her village's needs over her own dream of adventure showcasing group-oriented decision-making. The project also explored parallel worlds led by different leaders. In one, laws increase police presence while the other focus on criminal justice reform, demonstrating AI's ability to create and amend laws. In other scenario, when villagers disappeared, the agents lit up the town with torches to signal the missing members, showing collective problem solving. So far, these agents have collected 32% of all Minecraft items, a huge leap compared to previous systems. Project Sid is just the start of exploring multi-agent collaboration with future possibilities reaching far beyond games. Stay tuned for more updates and don't forget to like and subscribe.